Hello guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today we are going to be going over the new Affinity Designer beta um, release right after this. Okay guys, so this is the beta release for uh, Affinity Designer 1.6. And so it's, what beta means is it's not the full version, but they just, you know, give it out for free so that the people that use it can come back and tell them the problems of it. And so they can fix it before they actually come up, come out with the full program. So um, this is the beta version, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's not that much different. Uh, I was sort of hoping for a bigger update, but... Um, I guess they just didn't have enough people to help, so, um, but it wasn't a very big update, um, but I'm just going to go over four different things that are new. So, but first, if you need to, uh, download this, go ahead and come here to this, um, website, uh, it's actually the forums, probably, um, just come here from the website, I'll give you a link in the description and then you'll be able to click here and download the free beta and you don't even have to pay anything for this it's just free um, just sort of figure it out and you just want to be careful with what you use with the beta so that you don't like accidentally um, mess up one of the files that you're using with beta okay so um, uh, the first thing I'm going to be going over is a thing called it's uh, a new light user interface so as you can tell here it's pretty dark for this user interface um, on the old program it's also pretty dark this is the older one it's not the they, they look identical right now but this new one has the um, ability to go light so what you're going to need to do is click on up here at affinities out of beta and then come down here to preferences and then you're going to click light UI which means unit interface and style dark light uh, you can also do uh, large too if you need to but um, that would be for if you're older and you can't see very well and then it'll pop up and say you need to restart now and so I say restart now um, it needs to restart it and I'm just going to click don't save. I don't really care about the document in there. I haven't saved it yet. Okay, and then it should reopen. And if it doesn't, just click on it. It'll reopen. So this is the, um, the beta. It has a little orange B by it. Or the, the Greek um, beta letter sort of like a B. So once this opens, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so here we have it, the new light version. It's really cool, um, sort of. Uh, pops up with this new thing, you know, uh, whenever you start, you, know, you can um, turn off this so it doesn't pop up every time you open it. Hit close. Um, so yeah, now it's on light. And then you can click close here, and you got it. You got the light version. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a new file so the tools will light up for you. So here they are, all the tools. Um, so it's really interesting with this lightness. Um, I I personally wouldn't really like it very well uh, if for designing. I don't know. It just sort of throws me off. Um, but some people uh, like the lightness, I guess. Um, I really like... Uh, so we can compare the darkness versus the light. So if we go over, you can see a big difference. So, but, um, yeah, I think it really makes a lot more contrast with the tools and all this kind of stuff. So anyways, uh, for this update, they got a lot of bugs in the program fixed. So the next thing we're going to be going over is the text drop down for the fonts. It's really neat. I love this is probably my favorite thing that they did. It's not very big, but it's uh, pretty cool. 
So if I were to type something like um, happy, stick it in the middle real quick. Um, and then when you go over here and click on the fonts, it's awesome. I love it so much. Okay, so it pops up with all the fonts. It's actually sort of an, a little bit annoying because you can't see um, you, the other thing changing down here. But you can always uh, make it go over here so you can see it better. And then click on this and you'll be able to see how it changes and everything. And one, one thing that I really like about this is that you can actually have favorites. So if there's a font that you use a lot, um, you can go, let's see, um, one that I use a lot is um, Josephine's Lab. I love that font a lot. So I could go ahead and put that on one of my favorites. And what's nice, it shows how it actually looks over here, and then it shows um, uh, the what it's called over here, just in case you can't read. And then you can hit this little arrow button and it pops up with all the different um, types. There's thin, thin italic, light, and so on. So it's really cool. Um, all the different things they updated. And then also um, you can go to recent. So you, one of the recent, I don't really have any recents, I haven't been using this app, but I just got it today. And then used. Um, so there's two different ones I guess I've used. And then favorites pops up with my favorited one. So it's awesome. It's just uh, a lot easier to manage. And that's probably the, my favorite one. Another thing that is updated is the transform. I don't know if you've used the transform panel very much, but it's pretty handy for um, perfect adjustments. So if we were to bring this down here, um, you just for rotation now you can rotate it in the middle. So before I guess you couldn't. So put it 30 degrees and it rotates it right in the middle. So from the very middle knot. It rotates it in the middle knot around the this thing or anything. So if you did use the transform panel before you would have noticed that it rotates it around this upper corner for some reason but you can go ahead and click on these different ones and rotate it from there also which is really nice and then finally I hope this tutorial was helpful it's pretty cool that this is coming out um, and I hope you'll be able to download it if you liked it please hit the like button and if you didn't like it I'm not mad at you for hitting the unlike button if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those in the area below. And go ahead and subscribe, um, so you'll be able to see more updates from Affinity Designer and Affinity Designer 1.6 uh, once it comes out.